So you may be new to dividend investing and not really know what to look for to pick the right company, or you don't find yourself having enough time to do that extensive research to pick the right company to fit that portfolio. What's pretty cool is that researching for those right dividend stocks doesn't have to be that intense. As a matter of fact, if you follow these three steps, more than likely you can do this research in about five minutes. So the three things that you need to do are essentially answering these three questions. And the first question is, what does the company do? And I'm just gonna give you guys a secret, just hold on. Okay, can, can you guys hear me? Okay, look, invest in your lifestyle. Like, like seriously, like seriously, check, check this out. Most successful dividend stocks are part of your everyday life and most people don't even realize that. For example, I personally go to my job at an office about two days every single week around 6.30 in the morning. I'm a morning person depending on the scenario and most of the time that's not one of them. It might be an investment depending on how often you do this, but Starbucks, definitely helps me get through the day. And you can probably buy a share of Starbucks for the same price as if you buy, I don't know, 12 venti Java chip frappuccinos or something like that. And that's definitely a lot, sounds like a lot. Except when you think about it, if I have 12 Java chip frappuccinos sitting in front of me, they're not going to help me generate over $2 a year in dividends per 12 Java chips. On top of that, they're probably not gonna be increasing that payout for me every single year for over the past 10 years, so. Something you wanna think about. Plus having a share of Starbucks is just, it's just easier to carry. And as you can tell, I live in a home now. And living in a home means I have to go to Home Depot every now and then, sometimes multiple times a day, just because I get the wrong tool and I need that tool to do some at-home project. And Home Depot is another one of those common companies that's publicly tradable and also pays a dividend that has been increasing for almost or a little over 15 years. And the capital gains on that company, meaning the actual share price has been increasing for the past five years and then some even through the pandemic. Investing in the companies that are part of your everyday lifestyle could keep you from having those intense research sessions that can last hours and even having to do research on what's coming because you being part of that environment so consistently could potentially help you find out. And of course, you'll have time to look up other companies and do other things. Second question you wanna ask yourself, what is their dividend payout history. The one thing that's more important than their dividend yield or their payout or the percentage that they give you in dividends per share is the history of that payout. Answering this question would immediately answer two other questions. How long have they been paying those dividends and do they have a history of increasing those payouts? There's a lot of different websites where you can get information on a company's history, but one of my favorite websites when it comes to dividend research is dividend.com. This website allows you to search for the name of the company and then it gives you a lot of information about the company, including a decent amount of information about its dividend. For example, another company that is part of my often lifestyle is McDonald's. I can't help but love their fries. I gotta get them every now and then. So. I can search for McDonald's on dividend.com. There it is. And if I look here, you can immediately see some dividend information, including that they've been increasing their dividend payout for 46 years. That's, that's intense. And if I go to payouts, I can also expand this out and I can see that this payout amount here, and I'm going back in time at this point, it's decreasing as we go back in time, which means if we go the right way, it's been increasing for a good period of time. Meaning for almost 15 years, this company has not only been healthy enough to consistently pay their shareholders in dividends, but it's been healthy enough to increase that dividend over a long period of time, which means they're making more and more money every single year. Profitable companies are super beneficial. Speaking of profit, maintaining that profit is also super important for a company and you wanna invest into a company that can do that. And one thing that will give you insight on that is their payout ratio. So the third question you want to find the answer to is, what is the company's payout ratio? The last thing you want to do is invest into a dividend paying company simply for the fact that the dividend yield is high. You might even know the company. They might even be a part of your everyday lifestyle and the dividend yield is high. It makes you pretty comfortable with throwing a couple dollars at it. But knowing what the payout ratio of what that company is could definitely keep you from throwing a bunch of money at a company that's going downhill financially and could potentially cost you to tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars. A company's payout ratio is the amount of money that they give out in dividends over a given period of time divided by the net income of that company, the income they make after taxes, fees, and other things over that same given period of time. It's typically given as a ratio or or a percentage. For example, we're gonna go on dividend.com one more time and we're gonna search another company that's part of my everyday lifestyle, more so my wife's and I'm just involved by proxy, whatever, that would be Target. I do love Target though, it is pretty cool. Their carts, great. Okay, so according to this site, Target has a payout ratio of 40.73%. Side note guys, FWD just means forward payout ratio. 
It's basically taken into an account what the forward or future dividend yield of this company is when it determines information like this. There's a lot of other information that they may use for so you can get an idea of what they're gonna look like in the future. Anyway, 40% is pretty good. Typically, you wanna look for a company with a payout ratio of between 30 or 50%. That ratio should give you the feeling that they're giving a decent amount back to shareholders in the form of dividends, they're making enough income, but it's not so high that it seems like they're giving too much of that back and they may be putting themselves in a financial decline, something that they can't afford. And the last thing you wanna do is have a company with a high payout ratio, they end up in a financial bind and either they have to decrease that dividend yield over a period of time or worse, something crazy happens, they go bankrupt, you just wanna avoid that. Now there are categories of companies that are exception to that payout ratio rule, but that's another conversation for another day. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what that is, so make sure you leave comments below to let everybody else know that may not. So finding out all this information by answering those three key questions will not only help you gather a lot of information to make a pretty promising dividend portfolio, but it'll also help you to make a bit of a quicker decision so you're not spending so much time out of the market. And and over time, maybe you'll gain more time. Of course, you'll gain more experience so you can be able to do research in other different ways. And during that time, your profits are going to be making more profits. But let me know guys, how do you guys do research on dividend portfolios? Are you guys answering some of those questions? Are there other things that you do? And please shout yourself out if you guys have a lot more experience and maybe even more time to do additional research. What is that research? I'm sure a lot of us are really interested. So make sure you leave your comments below. But hey guys, I appreciate you watching as always. And until next time, take care.